Hello, all you hardcore boxing fans out there. How are you doing? It's Russ here from Porky's Corner. The biggest gob in sport. I hope you all like my Andre Ward Luchin Bute super middle light super middleweight promo picture. I've had it years. They should have both fought in 2012 May. That was a deal. Bute had 10 defences and Ward won the Super 6 and the winner of the Super 6 were going to fight Bute because he was considered the man. Now, what happened were Bute, uh, Ward said that Bute had to earn his stripes even though he had 10 defences and uh, so Bute fought Kyle Rock, Kyle Frock. We know what happened then, don't we? We got rendered unconscious. You know what I mean? Air standing up on my arms. So, anyway, the video. Let's get back to the video. IFL TV. What is going on? It used to be the go-to channel, didn't it? Now it just looks like it's just some bit of a mess, isn't it, really? I mean, I've just been looking through. You know, like you do, and you try and pick up things, don't you, off other channels and see if you can learn anything. See where you're going wrong, but I don't think I'm doing anything wrong looking at these lot. First of all, Coogan and all his little merry men, all they do is get their tongue out and put it near the nearest male G-spot that looks like he's uh, got a few quid. So they're going to go near anybody and anything to get views. Now, looking at some of these videos here, oh, my God, has anybody seen some of what they're putting out? <laughs> oh, my God, he's just putting stuff out. But the sake of it, isn't it? Asteroid wet. Gets a fish slapped in their mush. 9,000 views. What's it? Two and a half days. What is all that about? The rest of them are just doing numbers what I'm doing and less. So, but the way I see it is this if you've got 800 and odd thousand, 820,000 subscribers, and you're averaging between 500 views and 9,200 9, over two or three days, you can't sustain that. We are having to do other things. Uh, I personally think that they set the stall out licking certain people's assholes and sitting on fence. And I think they've been found out now. I think Boxing King Media have overtook them. I think Boxing News have overtook them. ID Boxing. Boxing Social definitely have. They're going places. Uh, they're not the go-to site. Joshua's got his own YouTube channel. Uh, behind the gloves is doing well. Matchroom boxing. They've just put their first video out regarding Conor Ben on their channel. They didn't give it Coogan. Unless Coogan bottled it. So this is what happens when you're in bed with somebody. Because if Eddie Hills walks away, where does that leave Coogs? It means he's got to go lick arse doing whatever Eddie's doing. That's what's going to happen. Uh, and it's a shame because he's really good behind the camera. I don't think he's any good in front of it. I don't think he's as confident as me because I've got massive, massive nuts, me, Anna. I'm not really frightened of anything. A few cameras don't bother me. Coogan's a bit shy in front of the camera, behind the camera. Very calm, very good, very good interviewer, but obviously he learns his lines. He doesn't throw from cuff like me or off the cuff, but when you've got 800 and odd thousand and you're averaging like six or seven there's a problem in because i do half that at the moment easily 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 and some months i match him depends what storylines are out doesn't it but i don't have access so i don't have any pressure like them do i i'm not in everybody's pocket or everybody's mate is me pal is me mate i don't pal i don't pal i don't dennis Fuck Porky Russ, fuck Michelle, fuck Bob, fuck my master. 
Isn't that right, Ross Birkinshaw? You know that. But getting back to Cooks, I'm worried for him. But if his channel were that good, 800 and odd thousand subscribers, why has he not got his own chat show on ITV? Why has he not got big blue chip companies hanging out at the back of him like Piers Morgan? Because Piers Morgan's not much bigger than that, is he? Coog's been at it 13 years. Oh. I mean, this is how I look at it. A thousand people a week subscribing to Coogan's channel, but yet only 30,000 people subscribe to Ring Magazine and they pay for that. So I'm telling you now that all these subscriptions are fake. Reason I know that, I've had a guy around the office today and he said if I give him 1,250 quid, he can bump me up to 150k. So that's how it works, is it? Well, I'm not into that. I believe in steady growth and not conning yourself because it's the man in the mirror moment, isn't it? It's no good me shelling 1,500 quid out to look big and hard with all them subscribers when it's the same amount I'm just going to watch because it's fake, isn't it? It's like me going outside to my BM and it says 330D on back for X drive, four wheel drive, whatever it is, and me changing that 330. And taking three off and O and D off and putting an M before three and saying it's an M3. Because it's like a three litre, isn't it? Twin turbo, and it's twin exhaust. So I could probably get away with it, couldn't I? Until you listen to the sound of the engine. You know, it's just a bad jump back, isn't it? Same as on front of their uh, YouTube channels. It says 800 and odd thousand, doesn't it? But then you look at the views they've got. I mean, some of these videos are up here two days and they're like 434 views. This one here are these two scrubbers that they've got out with a spoon. So where's the other 800 and odd thousand people? Aren't they watching that? It's because they don't exist. Eddie's just done a video. The video of the year they were saying. The Conor, Br Conor Brem br breaking news. Look how many views it's on. Where's the other 470,000, Eddie, of your view, of your subscribers? How come they're not tuning into it? Because they don't exist. It's all bluff to get sponsorships from JD Sports and all the rest of them. It's all a big con. Go and ask to look at their analytics. Let me come and have a look at them. And I'll show you how they're cheating. I'll show you. You don't let me look how they pop, pop, bang. Naughty, naughty, they can't lay, lie straight in bed. None of them. Oh, my God. Hey, unbelievable. Unbelievable. I don't know. Anyway, better get ready for Spence Crawford. Pop, pop, bang. Peace out.